Okay, let's learn uh, how to zip up two squares, granny squares, squares. Uh, I like to do a, what I call a zip up or a zigzag. So I have a slip stitch on my hook. I'm going to go down into where the chain twos are, put my hook in there, draw up a loop, and make a slip stitch. Okay. Then I'm going to go over here to this chain two. I'm going to go down in there. And you need to keep your um, yarn in the center here. And you're going to go over and pull through. Give it a little tug. Not a real big tug, just a little tug for the first couple stitches anyway. So then we're going to come over here into this stitch. We're going to go down, pick up a loop, pull through, and make a slip stitch. I'm going to come over here to this one. Go down into the stitch. Draw up a loop, pull through. So all you're going to do is go on the front, go into the front, to the back, draw up a loop, pull through, and make a slip stitch. Go over here in the front, to the back, draw up a loop, pull through, and slip stitch. So that's all we're going to do back and forth. And I'm going to deliberately skip. Um, I'm going to go through the front so you can see what it will look like when you miss a stitch on the back. So I'm going to do this over here. And then I'm going to pick it up like it's supposed to be. Go through. Go over here on this one. So after about 10 stitches, I like to turn it over and check to see if now, I deliberately made mistakes so you can see what it looks like on the back. And then I'll show you a different way um, how you not miss a stitch. So instead of going into the two loops there, I'm going to go into the big one. And in, into the outside. And show you that it makes a difference on how you do it. Okay, so I've done about 10 stitches there. So as you can see... They got bigger, and it looks all right, but it's not the same anymore. So if you turn it over, and look how big your stitches got when you go into the um, stitch itself instead of the two loops. So I'm going to take that back out just a little bit. We'll pick it up. and show you what it looks like when you go through just the two on the top. And it would be actually the V stitch. If you turn it to the side, it would be the V stitch. That's what you're going into. You pick them up. Okay. I think I've done it now. Now. Okay. So let's take a look at it now. That's what it looks like. Nice and neat. And if you turn it over, it's nice and neat. So there you go. Continue doing that. And I usually put all of my squares together. So my next two would be up here and I would continue going up the front. The same way we started at the bottom going through the two chain two spaces. You would connect them two together. And then when you get up here where these two are, you would go in between the chain two spaces still. All right. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and give it a try. Thank you for watching.